Hello, this is Scott Maitland with IACP, and today we have Patty Story of Story Marketing with us to talk about her upcoming advanced CE program with us. HIPAA compliance, website forms, email, BAA, and more. Thanks for being on the show, Patty. Can you tell us a little bit more about your CE and why people should attend? HIPAA, which is the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, defines pharmacists as covered entity who have to maintain confidentiality of protected health information or PHI. And what most pharmacists don't realize is that PHI is any clinical, financial, or administrative information about the patient. So it includes info such as online refill requests, sending out reminders for appointments, and sending bills. Now we also have high tech, which is the Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health Act, which required full compliance as of last August. Now, you've mentioned in the program description that's online that there are severe penalties for not following these guidelines. I certainly don't want to cause alarm, but can you share what some of those penalties are? Sure, Scott. Failure to comply with the legislation has significant financial ramifications. For a single infraction, the fine can now be up to $50,000 with a maximum fine of $1.5 million a year, which, of course, this can be devastating to a pharmacy. It's essential that... PHI that pharmacies receive electronically, such as via email, a refill request, or a consultation form, be stored and backed up securely. So people often say to me, well, patients can send me whatever they want because they're not covered entities. And that's true. But what do you do with that information once you receive it? That's critically important. Webmail, Outlook, and even many forms of email that offer security, such as standard Google apps, do not meet HIPAA standards. We know it's really scary and confusing, and that's why I want to help clarify what pharmacists need to do to comply, because ignorance of the law is not a defense. Hey, thanks so much, Patty. And listeners, make sure to join us for HIPAA compliance, website forms, email, BAA, and more. It'll be this Thursday, March 19th, 2015, at 1 p.m. Central, 2 o'clock Eastern. Thanks so much for listening, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or thoughts, please leave them in the comment box below. This is Scott Maitland with IACP, and here's to the health of your pharmacy.